physical attacks on the US power grid have skyrocketed recently. Rose 71% last year compared to 2021. More power companies are reporting physical attacks on electric grids to the FBI. Our grid infrastructure, for the most part, is very old, in some cases over 100 years. It's weak and needs to be protected. My role is to provide the input on how a bad actor would think and how they would function as it pertains to neutralizing these critical assets. An example of a damaged substation could include the outcome where a hospital, law enforcement, an entire neighborhood or an entire city might be without power. Ballistic threat assessment is identifying the critical locations at any given facility and then ascertaining where, if at all, a bad actor might use that to their advantage. We call those threat vectors. Historically, the methods used for conducting the vulnerability assessments don't identify all the gaps. What we're doing is we're merging math, science, and technology together to tell the story. Then you're able to solve the problem that the story brings to light. Our process identifies every location that a bad actor might use. The tool that we've developed here at Power Engineers is called Meerkat. What we're doing with Meerkat is pretty unique. The industry right now is using a very static approach where they give it all the parameters and they run the analysis and that's what it is. And they aren't able to quickly test new theories or ideas. But we're taking an opposite approach and we're looking at what's visible from that piece of equipment, which tells us the whole range of area that is, has line of sight to that piece of equipment, not just a precise shooter view. The real-time technology is it's fantastic because it gives us instantaneous results. We're meshing different data sets to get our study areas, which can be anywhere from 200 yards to a mile outside of the station walls. Another great aspect of this method is we're not actually sending people out to the real substations and having them stand on top of these you know, dangerous pieces of equipment. We're doing it all within a secure digital replica of the station. We're able to try different materials. We're able to try different heights. We're able to make small, precise changes in our real-time scenes and get really impactful results in the analysis. We could use Meerkat along with our team of experts on planned, new, or existing facilities. The biggest driver for this product and our process is the accuracy. We want to ensure that any money spent to mitigate these threats is the right amount of money spent. And that's the intent with our process and our program is build only what you need and nothing more. A few of the deliverables a client could expect with Meerkat are one, getting a, a 3D digital replica of the substation, and then a detailed report that walks through the whole analysis from existing conditions to what it will be once it's screened and mitigated. The report can be used for evidentiary purposes for auditing from the regulatory bodies. Also throughout this process are the workshops that are also really powerful. A lot of times our clients come with their own preconceived ideas of how they're going to screen these sites and we're able to work together to test their theories, test our theories, and come up with the best possible mitigation solution. It is our job to design and engineer power stations and substations. This is what we do. It's in our name. With our tool, with Meerkat, you're getting an understanding of the complete picture. At the end of the day, when I go home, I feel good that what we're doing here at Power Engineers is helping people live their lives the best they can.